Abby, are you all right? <sniffs> Darling, I know you've had a shock. I wish you'd talk to me. Did you see what happened? Well, he told me to wait at his place. And then there was a loud bang. So I went to the window. And he was just lying there. And then I ran out to him. And I tried to wake him up, but he wouldn't open his eyes. It was like he was dead. And then I tried to call you. Where were you? Darling. I was out looking for Lauren. Didn't have my mobile on me. I'm so sorry. How could someone do that to him? Just run into him and then just drive off? They were probably just scared. Didn't know what to do. Probably just kids. Did you get a look at them? It's all my fault. Oh, of course it isn't, darling. Yes, it is. Lauren? Where's got to be Daddy's little girl? Do what Daddy wants. It don't matter about the rest of us. That is enough. But why did you go run into him anyway? You made this happen. Oh, she doesn't mean it, do you? Listen, darling, you are not to blame for any of this. Dad! Oh, oh, God, you can't come in here, love. Not right now. Please, my dad, I Abby. need to go No, I'm so sorry. Come on, Abby. Let's let them do their job. Look at him. He needs us. I know it's difficult to wait, but we're just about to take Max for a CT scan. You will see your dad soon, though. I promise. Poor oh, Bradley. I've been ever so worried. Where have you been? Just out. Oh, come on, Grandma. I've been on late than this before. Anyway, what's with the, what's with the, the police? Uh, sorry, it's not like Piccadilly Circus out there. It's, uh, your father. It's been in an accident. He's been run down by a car and he's in the hospital. No one's sure how bad he is. Not yet. And he's still unconscious. Why don't you sit down, Bradley? I'm ever so sorry. Are you all right? Oh, that's a stupid question, because you aren't. Why don't I make you a nice, sweet cup of tea for the shock, and then I'll drive you to the hospital? No, 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 Grandma. No, I'm, I'm not going. Well, you don't need to be scared, because, I mean, Tanya and the girls and Jack, they're all there, and I'll come with you. You won't be on your own. No, Grandma, it's, it's, it's not that. You know, it's, I just don't want to see him. You know, whatever, whatever state is it, I don't care. This is Brian. Jack. Um, look, if you come to talk to Abby, it's just not the right time. Besides, I've, I've asked her. She didn't say anything. Actually, it's the two of you we need to talk to. Her. So, you got any idea who did this? Well, yes and no. The car was definitely stolen. It was dumped nearby. But whoever was driving obviously didn't hang about. So, you got no suspect? Well, we've had a more detailed report back from the crime scene. The lack of skid marks left by the car shows that there was no attempt at an emergency stop. In fact, the uh, car was stationary, then accelerated. We're looking at attempted murder. <laughs>